All right, hi guys, my name is Hannah Johnson and I'm a senior at Lincoln Southeast High School. And this is called When It's Real. Imagine, it's 7.45 a.m. and you're standing out on the field running the show. The color guard's counting loud and the band kids aren't counting loud enough. After the sixth full run through, it's clear the directors are trying to add weights to the bags that already hang from our sleepless eyes. My section stands to the right and the drum majors stand tall in front. We let out a groan when they blast reset over the loudspeaker, seventh full run through. In the middle of it all, two fire trucks come racing down the street, past the field, and into a school parking lot. It takes me a second to realize that's our school parking lot. I yell out focus in a voice that is much more confident than mine. We have a competition in two days, yet I can't seem to find a distraction from the knot that sits in my stomach. The band comes to a collective halt, and nobody makes a noise. Eyes start to turn to the loud red and blue lights. Three ambulances aren't short behind, and an emergency response vehicle trails in last, a smaller sibling. Would you call that scary? Because I would call it a Thursday. The music, conversation, the traffic, everything stands still. Like if we move, we'd be pulling triggers of our own, and my attention now lies fully on the measure of worry and outnumbers the measure of music. My teachers, friends, and classmates suddenly trapped in a building where I have no way of knowing what's going on, and I find myself expecting the worst. It's been on the news for weeks. It's been so hard to get away from the word shooting that I finally resorted to the thought, now it is our turn. But why should anyone settle on the thought that this could happen to them? Why do I find myself, why do I find myself preparing for the end of the world, not knowing if it will come when I am ready? Why do I find myself responsible to march for our lives, not knowing if I will march the next day? Why do people hear gun ban when I say the words gun control? My neighbor with the MAGA hat knows a weapon better than he knows his own children. Even if it saved one of us, just one, would it be worth it? Would you give up a few hours at the range if it meant that Sandy Hook parents got to hug their children a thousand more times? What about the shooting trip to Colorado if it meant that Parkland survivors got to remember red for Valentine's Day and love instead of the time they had to step over their classmates' bodies? You never know what that feels like until you know what that feels like. Right now, I feel selfish for wanting the one thing that should be guaranteed. My safety, that's all it is, right? A headline for a day, we stand, we scream, we throw popcorn at the screen and then we cry. But why do we sit back right why do we sit right back down, waiting for the credits to roll with body counts and names instead of walking out of the theater? There was an accident at the school that morning. But that's all it was. An accident. They won't all be accidents though, now will they? Two hundred hearts froze, scared to let out a beat. Two hundred stomachs sank one by one. Two hundred stomachs sank slowly, one by one. I take, nobody speaks, nobody moves, and I take it as a sign to wait for the next time, when it's real. <laughs>